Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. At your service, to describe for you what I consider to be the perfect dipole. Now, this is for high frequency use, that is, three to 30 megahertz, all of the ham bands in there, and possibly even 160 meters. But what it is, is it is a remotely tuned, open wire fed dipole antenna, perfectly horizontal antenna, perfectly level surface, weatherproof box for this automatic antenna tuner, coaxial cable buried under the ground or under the surface and protected uh, from the elements from long-term decay, the radio shack with your radio in it, of course, 90 degree angle right here and here, so this is perfectly vertical, this is perfectly horizontal, L represents the length of each side of this dipole. It doesn't matter what L is, although the longer the better. Um, I would say at least 50 feet for use on 80 meters and above. But the longer the better, just so long as they're exactly the same. This open wire is uh, has spacers and it's about six inches uh, spacing. That is to say, six inch spacing open wire line. You can make it yourself if you have to using PVC sections for the spacers. And the whole thing is held at, into this configuration by the tension uh, on the line, on the antenna itself. Insulator, insulator, and then a, a, any kind of support, a tower, a tree, a utility pole that, you know, is not a utility company's pole. You use it as a tower. And um, so you have a geometrically perfect open wire fed dipole antenna. And this should perform as well as any open wire antenna possibly can. The height above the surface should be at least one quarter of a wavelength. So at uh, 80 meters, and this would be in free space, at 80 meters that would be about 70 feet. Open line, okay, that's fine. Open line, open wire line, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you know what it is. That is your geometrically perfect open wire dipole. And I remember uh, W1AW having an antenna similar to this that was there when I was there in 1977 and 78. Um, textbook perfection as for performance. Well, that depends to some extent on how good an operator you are and also on your QTH. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off for now, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which means di-di-di-da-di-da. -di 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 -da.